So that is April 27th, 2020. And I've told this story to, uh, to many people over the years. Um, never, never really made a video of it or, or documented it. So I decided to do that today. And it's a beautiful day here in Pensacola. Just walking around in my backyard. Um, but in, in uh, 2011, I, I was working on a boat in the Gulf of Mexico. And I used to pray every night. And I sit down and get on my hands and knees and say peace on earth and loved all my family and friends and everybody and all that and I didn't know what I was doing never really uh, understood it or anything like that but this one night I sat there and I got down on my hands and knees and I just stopped and I said <laughs> get chills telling the story um, but I was just like, who am I talking to? What the hell is this? What is any of this? What, it, all of a sudden, nothing made sense. Nothing, nothing made sense. And I, I just, I just started talking. I'm like, I don't have any idea what any of this is. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know what this whole thing is about. I don't know what I'm here to do and, and all that. And I, and I mean, I, 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 I asked for for guidance and I asked for knowledge and, and I asked for a sign just something to give me a reason to go on you know it was it was just I was so confused and and it was it was powerful man I was sweating I was crying and went to bed and soon after that um books just showed up in my life it was the most amazing thing. Like uh, one of the first books I read was The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, and that just showed up. It was sitting on the, it was sitting on the, uh, the table. The place we lived, we lived in a place called Paseo, and it was just sitting there. And I asked Tracy where it came from. She's like, I don't know, found it, and, <laughs> and it ended up being an incredible book. And I read other books and. Uh, the place that we lived at was a resort kind of kind of place, which was really cool. And Tracy, they gave Tracy, my wife, the uh, the nail spa. They just gave it to her as a good gig. She uh, she started doing nails there, and and there was a lady there. Her name was Eileen Ellis, and. Eileen did ear, uh, energy healing. She was a shaman and Native American, just an just a, an incredible lady. But <laughs> Tracy and her started trading services, and um, she kept telling me. Tracy kept mentioning, "You need you you should go see Eileen." You know, anytime I was <laughs> troubled or whatever, and. Finally, I did. I said, okay, I'll go see Eileen. And when I got there, this girl came out. Um, Eileen was in a session. She had me wait for a minute. And this girl came out, and she was just, like, crying and pale. And, and, <laughs> and, and she was like, oh, my God, what am I getting myself into? And... So I walked in this, anyway, I walked in this room, and you could feel the energy in this room, man. It was incredible. Um, and I sit down, I talked, I, we started talking, and I had read, just by chance, I had read several books on a reading list, which showed up unexpectedly in my life. <laughs> and, um, and we had this great talk, and... I actually realized how much I had been learning and, and how in line I was with, with uh, 
what 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 she was doing which i didn't fully understand for sure but i knew that there was some powerful stuff going on and <laughs> um so she goes do do you want a full session and i said okay <laughs> so i didn't know what that was but but she was explaining chakras to me and and uh some stuff i didn't i didn't fully understand still learning today uh but i laid on the table and i had to pick a stone and i picked a like a grayish black stone and she said she was going to work on my throat chakra so i laid on the table and she put the stone on my on my throat <laughs> and she said some things and and uh kind of guided me and and I thought okay I thought I was on that table for five or ten minutes but I was on that table the little bed table thing it's kind of like a medical thing <laughs> I was on there for 45 minutes and I got up and went through this incredible I can't even tell you how how wonderful this experience was I just I can't even put it into words but I got up and I was crying and I couldn't talk <laughs> I, could, oh, I was coming out like oh and I just looked at her and I I just hugged her and, and somehow got out I love you and I walked out of there and I was I was crying there was I mean I was I was uncontrollably crying. Just just I lived like a half mile from there and I drove. <laughs> but I had to stop twice on the way home because I was I was just I mean, tears were coming out of my eyes. I I never cried like that ever. It was it was so powerful. I got home and sat down with Tracy and cried for I don't know another 45 minutes straight and it was it was just an incredible release of this stuff that was bottled up inside of me for so long. <laughs> and I felt wonderful like uh, for a while after that. But anyway, energy healing is amazing and there's so much more to it and, and everybody should give it a try. But it. It, it, it was an incredible experience for me. So anyway, have a great day.